Well, hello there and welcome back to the Cozy Club, my friends. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful start of the week for a little bit of DSA. And on today's video, I'm going to be talking about spells. You know, we've talked about, we've ranked the spells in the game. We've talked quite extensively about each and every spell within the game and have loads of videos about each and every one. However, the one thing I feel like we haven't talked about enough is what order should you be upgrading these spells, unlocking them, and getting to the spell's true potential. Because as you guys know, some spells come right out of the box and you're gonna be able to use them the same way you would if you upgraded it all the way, with very little differences in between the two, while other spells, you have to hit level two, level three, or even level four to really get the spell to do what it's meant to do within the meta, within PvP, and within other game modes. So on today's video, we're gonna be going through the spells and talking about which ones as a free to play player or pay to play, you should be upgrading first and collecting the resources and the materials for spells. Some of the hardest, you know, materials to get in the game, those blue and red potions, not easy to come by. Even if you're a whale, I want to be careful which ones you guys are upgrading. So we're going to go ahead and start today's video. But before that, we've got the question of the day. What spells should come into the game? You know, I feel like by a large amount, spells have just not gotten any love. The game's been out coming on, I mean, coming on, but pretty soon to two years, and we've only had one additional spell. So put down in the comments below, DSA team, make this spell. Maybe put what the spell will do, and uh, who knows? Maybe they'll see it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, my friends. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into all of the spells within the game. Uh, like I said, there is currently 26 spells available with one that has been looming and haunting us like Maleficent and Zeus, the Honeypot, which we imagine will come out when uh, Winnie the Pooh hits the game. But uh, anyway, if you're a free to play or pay to play player, it can be a little bit easier to decide which characters that you want to upgrade, and it can be a lot harder on which spells should be the first. Like I was talking about in the intro, you've got materials that, uh, let me go to a spell that I haven't unlocked yet. You have materials that are the blue and red potions that you get through the Towers of Endurance, and they're pretty tough to get. They're not easy to come by. You have to get the shards, the gold, and then you also have to grab all of the material, the Lucent Ink, the uh, Cerulean Pigment, and then lastly, the Vermilion Pigment, all very much pretty hard to grab. So if you're new to the game or you're just kind of stuck on what spells you should unlock, let me go ahead and walk you through it. Now, we don't have spell tier lists come out near as often as character tier lists as eh, they don't upgrade as much. They're not as needed to change because there's no new spells coming out, if we're going to be honest about it. Uh, but things do change within the meta. And now that some spells are going to be required to get characters, that also brings something new into the mix. And so some good examples of spells that are great once you've unlocked them to their max potential or spells like Clock Tower, where at level four, you're going to be able to have this chance go down to one turn to turn them into pumpkins significantly. It literally doubles the effectiveness of the spell. But before that, not that much use. Whereas you also can look at Splash Mountain, really solid spell, but you really want to have that decreased magic on all abilities on the spell. That's the main use of it, right? So those kind of spells, you want to upgrade all the way. And if you're not going to go all the way, is it even worth using your materials? Probably not. So today we're going to talk about the spells that you should be going in to put those materials and that hard earned resources into. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about them, right? So talking about some of the best spells in the game, Wand, Cauldron, Sugar Rush, and Golden Hammer. Um, and then obviously you have free to play spells like Headless Horseman and some other ones. Let's talk about the ones to truly upgrade first and foremost, right? So the first one we're going to start with is the Conjuring Cauldron. Um, Conjuring Cauldron is, in my opinion, the spell that everyone should go for. It's such a unique and incredible spell. You know, there is some meta up and downness with kind of Hercules and his reaction to turn meter gain, but it's been tried and true for a very long time. You're going to be able to get increased cooldowns. You're going to be getting extra speed turn meter. It's very, very vital for the raids to have this spell. It's such an important spell, especially with PVE. But if we look at the upgrades of the spell, uh, when you unlock the spell, it's going to come base at level one, and you're going to be able to go ahead and get these uh, cauldron goops, if you will. Uh, and at level one, it's going to give one magic to one character, whereas at level four, it's going to give up to three magic 
uh, two random characters could be all the same character and it's going to prioritize characters that have used their cooldowns or characters like Mulan, for instance, uh, that take time to get to their move like Fiery Destruction. I recommend taking this to a minimum at level two. If you're a free to play player, getting Cauldron to level two is pretty dang vital. I think it's very important to go ahead and get that up. And once you've gotten that allocated, you want to move on to the next spell because level three is not going to be worth the cheese and the cheddar that you have to put into it. And level four is a massive upgrade, but get it to level two, get two of those splashes to be able to really amp up your team and then worry about finishing it another day, another time when you truly have it ready to max, right? You don't want to slowly get this to level three and upgrade it. It's just a waste of materials. You want to go two all the way up to four. The next spell that I kind of want to talk about, I'm going to kind of fire through these fast, Cozy Club, is the Golden Hammer. Uh, Golden Hammer, another terrific spell. This spell and Sugar Rush, which we're going to talk about, are both required to get Wreck-It Ralph, and uh, that's a new thing that we're starting to see. Golden Hammer out the gate is a great spell. It's going to be great out the box. It's like a Christmas gift. You're going to be able to use it effectively right when you get it. However, when you get it to level two, you're going to get a 40% speed meter increase to a downtown hero, which, you know, you're going to have more than one of those on your team, especially if you're free to play, right? So getting this to level two is your biggest priority, right? Cauldron to level two, Hammer to level two are both great first two upgrades you can do out the gate. And if you don't have those done by now, go back and do these two upgrades as very easy, very efficient and worth those investments. Now, level three gets it up. It's the same as Cauldron. I don't know what they have with level three upgrades. Not that big of a deal, plus 10% max health. I mean, if you're doing that in a free to play account early on, that's like an extra 50 to 500 health. It's not going to be worth the upgrade materials. Level four is pretty dang solid too, with a more uh, health and speed turn meter. However, at the end of the day, right? You don't need that. You need Cauldron at level two. You want Hammer at level two. Uh, Hammer, you want to upgrade more if you want Ralph and, and get him to all of his glory. Uh, and while we're on that subject, We'll look at Sugar Rush. Uh, so Hammer out the gate is great, and Cauldron at level two is going to serve its job pretty well. Sugar Rush is interesting as it does so many things so well, and at level two, you're truly getting the full, like a really big part of it. You're getting 80% of what the spell can do. At level two, you're going to be giving yourself a 30% speed meter fill on all teammates. That's as good as it gets. It gets up to 40%, but 30% instant turn meter to everybody is absolutely massive. You're going to be able to call at the time at level two, two teammates to perform a basic attack, dealing extra damage if they wreck it. Ralph, this is the spell to upgrade as well. Those three spells are the best within the game, but even getting these three to level two is going to be enough of an upgrade, especially free to play. These are the first three free to play spells without question that I would level up. Now, looking at some other spells a little bit, if you're kind of uh, into the mid game or the late game cozy club, you know, that's when you can start looking at these, the, the L here. You got uh, Blue Fairy Magic, the Shadow and Mortal Potion. So Peter Pan Shadow, really great spell. Looking at the upgrades to my, uh, what is it? Y'all's left, my right, whatever. Uh, you can tell level two, you're going to get haste. Level three, though, this is a level three spell that you could take up. You're going to get 15% extra statistics on your shadowed unit. Um, which I think Shadow is always going to be relevant. Level three, if you want Shadow and you like the way you can play and kind of uh, utilize this within the game modes, uh, Peter Pan Shadow is going to be worth taking it to level three. Pretty much no question. I, I like Peter Pan Shadow at level three, and that would be kind of the next one I would steer close to. And it's going to help you with Peter Pan once, you know, he inevitably comes around for everyone else to get. Uh, so Peter Pan Shadow is good. Looking at Mortal Potion, very advantageous spell against Hercules with the villains, with mythicals. Little busted at the moment, and uh, it's pretty good outside the box. Level two is what you want to aim for. Level three is going to add a little bit extra bonuses to the whole thing. Uh, definitely get the base unlock for Mortal Potion and then go there. If we're talking base unlocks, you know, still I would go Cauldron, Sugar Rush, and Hammer. And then Mortal Potion is a great just base unlock spell to grab. When you look at Blue Fairy Magic, really solid as well. Um, you're not going to get harmful immunity, but level three for this spell is the name of the game. It's a little bit of a later spell. You got to beat Tower 5. And on top of that, it just takes time to get the shards for it. But level three, you get 30% turn meter uh, for each cleanse harmful effect. And that's really the point of this spell. You're going to be flipping. There's so many cleansers these days and they just keep coming out that it's less imperative to have this. 
but that 30% speed meter fill, super advantageous for you and your team, and definitely one that I would look at as well. So the base unlocks for most of these spells are going to be solid. Grandma Tala, pretty solid out the box. You're going to get good healing. It's going to give you the survivability in towers. So just base unlocking Tala, base unlocking Mortal Potion um, are going to be good. Even Shadow with less statistics. Infinity Sided Die is one of those that really you want to upgrade. So that's a luxury spell. Claw is going to do its purpose of clearing evades. You get bonus damage with it. Uh, soldiers, same deal. Good mid game, not so much later. Dupe Kaboom. Dupe Kaboom at level two. Really great. You get an increased chance to put that vulnerable on adjacent opponents. And level three, not so much level four. I don't even have because again, it takes some time. It takes time to get these materials and you want to make sure you upgrade the right stuff. So that's the spells that I would recommend if you're really bougie and luxury, you know, level four Dumbo is a big one as well. But uh, those are the ones that are going to make the big difference. Headless Horseman, you can upgrade, but Conjuring Cauldron followed by Hammer at level two, then going on to Sugar Rush at level two to level four for Wreck-It Ralph. Unlocking these base spells right here in Wand, Mortal, and Shadow, and then getting Headless Horseman and Duke Kaboom are great beginner spells. So that's going to be the main point of today's video, guys. Wanted to make something to help you guys educate you free-to-play newer players or even pay-to-play players that don't know where to put their spell materials and want to start doing more guides like this to kind of help you guys understand when to unlock something and how to get the best bang for your buck so that's gonna be today's video hopefully you enjoyed this spell advice and if you did put down below what spells made a big difference for you early on and what spells are you still using to this day i've got about the same four that i cycle through but definitely want to hear it from you guys hope to see more spells in the game definitely going to make a video on it maybe this week um, I want to kind of come up with some. I think theory crafting some would be a lot of fun. We'll have to see. My friends, thank you so much for stopping by. Subscribe if you haven't for more videos just like this one. And until next time, stay cozy, my friends.